Yeah, I know, these bottles aren't open. Yeah, you might not get any shiny, glistening, tasty notes from me today, because, well, I'm doing you a favor, because both of these wines will sell out today. There, I'm making the call, boom. These will disappear, and uh, if I open one of these, then the last person that goes to order that can't get a bottle will probably call us up and it's like, you know, I had a chance to buy this wine, but Kyle opened and drank them, so I didn't, so now I'm really angry with you guys. So I'm trying to avoid all that by just having the bottles in front of me and showing you these two beautiful wines from Domaine FL, the Longchamp family. Not the purses, I don't think. I don't think, who knows, maybe. Father, son, both dug Chenin Blanc a lot. Father was a collector. Son dug wine a lot. Uh, accordingly, uh, they decided to do something about it. They loved Chenin, and they loved old Chenin. Chenin with tons of bottle age, these classic old Anjou Chenins and seven-year wines and old Bouvrais from the 30s, 40s, 50s. They were enamored by the wines. And uh, this father-son team decided that they wanted to do the same sort of thing. As luck would have it, around 2006, 2007, two fantastic properties came available almost simultaneously. The Joe Piton estate, one of our, one of our favorite, favorite guys, uh, Joe Piton, the gentle giant of the Loire Valley, um, uh, he decided to sell his property uh, in 2006, 2007. And at the same time, the famous Chateau de Chambureau also became available. And so what they did is they went and bought both of them. Because if you can, why not? You like Shannon? Well, then just casually buy two of the best properties for Shannon Blanc in the world. How easy is that, huh? Beautiful. Anyway, they bought both properties, merged them together, and created Domain FL. Now, uh, at this time, they needed a winery, so they built a nice new splashy winery over by the Chateau de Chambreau. And now it's a fabulous brand new facility where you can go and visit and taste the wines, etc. Now, they're terroirs. These guys managed to secure a healthy percentage of the great vineyards available in the appellation of Savignier. Not just Savignier, but also Rochelmois and the uh, Carte de Chaume and all these wonderful, beautiful areas for Chenin Blanc in the center section of the Loire Valley. Today we're focusing on the Savignier wines. The Savignier wines uh, uh, are dry wines. Let's remember this, kids. Give you a little Chenin education. The Savignier wines are dry. When you get into Cote de Lyon and Carte de Chaume, those wines uh, are sweet. Now, with Vouvray, it gets confusing, right? Because Vouvray, you can have dry, you can have half dry, you can have sweet, you can have super sweet, you can have blindingly sweet. So, these aren't those. Same in Mont Louis. Mont Louis can be done in a drier or fruitier style as well. Seven years dry, baby. Beautiful, driving, dry Chenin Blanc. And I have two of our favorites from them on the table today. They make several different cuvées. When you click on the link, link below to buy these wines, you will see those other cuvées that we have available in smaller quantities. But we cherry picked our two favorites, the Chambureau and the Framin. Real quickly, the Chambureau actually does come from the vineyards around the Chateau de Chambureau. Less, uh, less slate, they call it schist. Less schist in the soils. Uh, I think more clay here, if memory serves. And then with the Framin, you have them taking a harder look at the Chenin and the schist soils and those slate soils. Um, both the wines are made pretty much the same way. They're farmed organically, biodynamically. Uh, as far as I know, it's all indigenous yeast in the cellar. The wines age for a period of time in small barrels, and then they work the cuvées into larger barrels for six months to harmonize prior to bottling. And that's pretty much it. Uh, what you get out of these wines, complexity, richness, you know, those classic stone fruit characters, the, um, you know, you, you'll get a little green apple in there, but you get, you know, um, uh, pear, you get, uh, you know, the whole Anjou pear thing, right? Yeah. Uh, the spectrum of flavors in these wines. Body-wise, these wines are as rich as Chardonnays, not as oaky, and in fact, probably more flavorful than your typical Chardonnay. This is not the sweet, mawkish Chenin Blanc that maybe previous generations have been accustomed to. This is something completely different. These are two of the most thrilling dry white wines made in the world and easily works to the level of the other top dry wine producers in the area, a la uh, Huey, Chidane, um, Jacques Hublot, all these kind of guys. The Domain FL wines work at this level easily. Uh, both tremendously scored wines. I think that's why they're gonna sell out. <clears throat> Chambereau, 98 points for me, 96 points. They're both under $30. <laughs> 
and they're both limited. Uh, got 10 cases of one, maybe 15 cases, like maybe a mix of 25 cases between the two wines. And then that is it, baby. Uh, these are two of the hottest white wines we have in the store, and they will disappear. So click on that link down below quickly and get yours. Do not miss out. They are fun, thrilling wines. Taste them for yourself. I know I did. And I will, well, I'll not taste these because you're going to buy them all, but I'll taste them again next year. It's okay. Go ahead and buy all these. I don't mind. <laughs>